It's time for some urban warfare, and we ain't talking about fighting in cities. It's Matt Urban on today's Motivated Moments in History. <laughs> Matt Urban, he was born in 1919 in Buffalo, New York. He was a son of a plumber. You know, I guess his dad liked laying that pipe. Come on, man, we just started. He attended Cornell University, and he graduated there in 1941. While he was at Cornell, he was in the ROTC program and then commissioned upon graduation as an infantry officer and got stationed in Fort Bragg. Well, it didn't take him long to see action since the Japs, you know, decided to bomb Pearl Harbor six months after being commissioned. So Matt, you know, he just packed his bags and sailed out across the pond on his bold quest to go slay some motherfucking bodies! <laughs> he first saw action in North Africa. You know, he came on shore from a freaking raft while under heavy enemy fire. You know, the action didn't stop there. He was once wounded but refused to be evacuated. Bleeding and injured, he saw a crowd combat patrol and shot those bastards dead in their stupid David Hasselhoff listening Capri wearing tapes. Another time, while leading his men and falling back, he grabbed the German soldier, stabbed that dude to death with a trench knife, then stole that guy's machine gun and killed the rest of his platoon. For this, he was awarded the Silver Star. On his way to Sicily, a German plane attacked his boat and wounded a spotter for the anti-aircraft gun section. You know, Urban grabbed the guy's binoculars and spotted the plane, directing the gun crew's fire, which blasted that Nazi dirtbag out of freaking orbit. Fast forward a little bit, the Germans had the first ID pinned down. Matt and his guys secretly crossed the mountain and bum-rushed a 4,000-man Nazi force and they did this so bad that the losers retreated and ran back to their pubic hair mustache fuhrer. For his actions in Sicily, he was awarded another silver star. With Africa and Sicily left in ashes, Matt turned his attention to France. It was June 14th, and Matt decided to celebrate the army's birthday by killing a whole lot of pole smokers. While attacking Renew France, or however you pronounce that stupid city, he came upon a German unit full of grunts and tanks. The crowd started to unload on his position, wiping out several people. He grabbed a bazooka, ran out front of those guys, and blew up both their tanks. <laughs> Later that day, he was directly hit by a 37 millimeter round, and he was wounded severely. But he sucked that shit up and led his men into a defensive position where they stayed the night. Before dawn the next morning, he led his men on another attack and was wounded again. Now suffering from two wounds, one of which very severe, he had to be evacuated to England. Well, a month later, while still healing from his wounds, he heard of his unit suffering major losses. So instead of sending out thoughts and prayers and making commemorative Instagram posts, he left the hospital and freaking hitchhiked back to his unit. Hitchhiked! The motherfucker hitchhiked! Like, he bummed a ride and a driver was like, Hey man, uh, where are you going? Where can I take you? You know, I'm trying to go to the battlefield, so I'm going to slay some fucking bodies. I'm a badass adventure type superhero. I'm a comic book legend over my heart. He finally got back to his base camp, and when he got there, he realized that his unit left just 30 minutes prior to him arriving. You know, and they, they left to go fight. So he, still limping, hobbled his broke ass all by his lonesome across the battlefield until he caught up. You know, he found his company under a barrage of enemy fire. He found an allied tank that was without a commander, but with the crew because damn near everybody was killed. He hopped up on that thing, and despite being shot at and bullets bouncing off and ting-tinging all over the motherfucking place, he jumped up, manned the machine gun, and directed his driver to go participate in some crazy game of tank chicken, and then Thanos that dude's ass into eternity. Fast forward a few days. He was wounded, and he had shrapnel in his chest. The brigade surgeon begged him to go back to England, but Matt said, fuck no. You know, and not only did he stay and fight, the dude assumed command of his freaking battalion. And shortly after that, he was wounded again. The guy's like a freaking pincushion. No matter how much stuff you hit him with, he survives and continues to kill some shit. This guy is like video game stamina. Like, any something happens to him, he's just like, I don't give a shit. Finish him. A month after assuming command, he was at a river near Belgium. You know, his battalion soon came under heavy artillery and small arms fire. Matt moved his command post to the front of the fight and commanded the battle. 
He then personally led a charge across open terrain to the enemy positions. While running, he was shot in the freaking neck. And he was hurt so bad that he couldn't talk above a whisper and was just pouring out blood. I mean, this guy's running across an open field. Blood spewing from his neck. He couldn't talk. But still had the command, presence, tenacity, and ball sack to wrap those German fucktards and kill every last one of them. He continued to fight across Belgium and Germany. For some reason, his story wasn't made popular until decades later. In 1980, he was finally awarded the Medal of Honor for his actions in France. All in all, the guy had a Medal of Honor, two silver stars, three bronze stars, a Legion of Merit, and seven Purple Hearts. He died in 1995 from wounds received in World War II. That's right. His body was so badass it took his wounds 50 years to kill him. He's buried in Arlington. And that, kids, is your Motivated Moments in History. <laughs> What's going on? What's going on? Oh, oh, Mr. Stark, I don't feel so good. I wanna go. I wanna go. Captain Marvel, save me!